early for Christmas, don't you think, Joe? Well, this will kill during the holidays. Two shots of espresso, six ounces, 2% milk, four pumps chocolate, two pumps caramel whipped cream, red and green sprinkles. That's good. I think you're meant to do this. You gotta do what you love. That is what they say. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, where's my chai latte? TikTok? I'm on it. Hey, you gonna play something tonight? Ah, uh, you know I would, but I forgot my fedora. No, uh, we're having a uh, family dinner tonight. Gracie is making her world famous spaghetti. Oh man, say no more. Gracie, that is not how we eat at the dinner table. Really? Gracie, if we've told you once, we've told you a thousand times. <clears throat> this is how we eat in this house. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's in your hair. Ew. Hey, one, two, three. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't copy him. You are cleaning that up. Hmm. You miss one? Uh, yeah, but I called and they said we kept till next week. How short are we? It's fine. Fine. Daddy. Daddy. Yes. You know, I'm going to audition for the school play. You are? Mm-hmm. When I try out for the part of the shrub. But I need someone to rehearse with. Happen to know anyone? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know someone. Living room, 15 minutes. Okay, just gotta go get the bread. Great, let's add this to the list. Son of a- Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. that'll be a quarter. <sighs> Give me your line, ready? Stop. Who goes there? It is I, Prince Turtle from the Terrapin Kingdom. Welcome to the forest. Oh, is that it? Yep. I only have two lines, but my teacher says they're very important to the story. Well, she is right. Remember, there are no small parts, just small actors. Well, actually, the part of the tree stump is an itty bitty roll. It just sits there the whole time. Okay, honey bunny, it's bedtime. Time to start thinking about brushing those teeth. Mm -hmm. I was gonna go check on Pop. Oh, I can. How, how is he today? He seemed fine. Get ready, San Antonio. The song is coming to the Alamo City this Saturday. And if you think you've got what it takes to be a world-class singer-songwriter, well, now's your chance. So be sure to get your submission in today. We've got a I didn't know they were coming to town. Hey, honey. Maybe you should audition. We should audition, Daddy. So you can win and we can be zillionaires. And then we can get a dog. Zillionaires? You don't have to be a zillionaire to get a dog, though. Cool, so we can get a dog? No. Okay, yeah. sweetie. Your vote. Toothbrush, toothbrush. Please visit our website, thesongtvshow.com, for details on submissions. I think you should try. What's the worst that could happen? They don't choose you? Honey, I appreciate your faith in me, but it's not gonna happen. That ham is lovely and your eyes are blue. I'd like to take a bite of each of you. I got my fork and knife and here is my spoon. I'd like to eat you up. I'd like to eat you up. I like to eat you up because I love you. Dad? Yeah? Why don't you like singing? Uh, I do. Then why don't you sing? No time, I guess. Why? Well, I have to uh, earn a living. I have to I make money to pay for this house and for food. Because your mom eats a lot and your education at Harvard so you can become president. 
But I'm going to be a vet. Well, then the presidency can be a backup plan. Good night, sweetie. Wait, people can make a living out of playing music, right? Uh, some people can. Well, so why can't you? It's complicated, babe. Why? Well, the music that I make may not sell tons of records. And people that earn a living making music, they make music that people want to listen to. Well, how do you know they won't like yours unless you play it for them? Because they just do. And I love you, little ham sandwich. All right, say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. <sighs> now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. <sighs> Make my daddy do the show. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Pop, I got some food for you. Uh, pick a pile, set it down. I'm almost done. You still taking these meds, Dad? Ah. Oh, those are the same ones you were working on yesterday? The very ones. They look pretty good to me. Well, you don't have to listen to Mr. Wilkinson every time they slip off his nose. That man is a N-U-T nut. Well, he found the right repairman then, huh? Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I spilled on your psalms. Proverbs. Not to worry. Scripture scholars everywhere agree that spilling coffee on the pages doesn't ruin the value. It's more about how you live your life. That's good stuff, Dad. Good night. Thanks for dinner. One thousand voices are calling my name. Which one is right? And who's playing games? I gotta live from the heart. Tell doubt who's in charge I am. On the, on the way to the top where all my dreams come true, everybody's telling me what to do. I'm gonna live from the heart, tell them all who's in charge I am. Oh, the demons of doubt live in the heart of my ear. They got it all figured out. They sow the seeds of fear, but in the ear of my heart is the horse of love that, that makes me stop and stand and rise and Look alive, boss man in the house. Gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Could I interest you in a Hail Mary Christmas mocha? Joe, I uh, really don't remember that being on the menu. You inventing things again? Trying to, sir, but uh, it could be on the menu. Mm. Ben, um, can I talk to you for just a minute? Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Surprise, South Texas music fans. Get ready for the chance of a lifetime. San Antonio, the city famous for the Riverwalk and Alamo, plays host to The Song this weekend. Now in its third season, The Song is the reality television show that seeks out undiscovered songwriters from across the country. Saturday night is the last regional competition where 10 songwriters will compete for the final slot on the grand finale tour. I, I don't know what to say. Man, you have been a great employee. You have seniority, and I am loyal to my employees. I wouldn't have made the offer if I didn't think you'd handle it. And this is good money for the family, benefits. But of course, uh, if you don't want no, no, to no. do this. No, I, 
I want it. Absolutely. Good. I appreciate it, and I will not let you down. Brad Richards and Ben Cantor. There you have it, San Antonio. Congratulations, and buddy. The, the news travels fast. will be voted on by the song's broadcast television audience. And when the show culminates no, no, in New this York is, City, this is a mistake. one of our very own just might be crowned winner of the song. Hey, honey. Not funny. Uh, OK, what exactly? I told you I didn't want to do that. I don't have my Ben decodering on, so you're going to have to be a little bit more specific. It's on TV. It's on channel 8. Her hand. Shelby is rumored to be in the works on her next CD, a live broadcast. Um, so I mean, this was not me. Well, I didn't do it, so who did? Huh. I think I found the culprit. Who? Your daughter. How? How? Maybe a few weeks ago, when I was looking for Lucky, I might have found some of Daddy's music. And then later I heard about the contest on TV and took a disc and copied it onto an MP3. I have no idea, but she did it. Wait a second, who's lucky? My mouse. We have a mouse? We, we have a mouse? Well, not anymore. When do we get a mouse? Honey, just forget about the mouse. This is, this is really exciting. Sweetie, you were chosen. This is your dream. Okay, it's dead and gone, baby. My dream is to put food on the table and raise a decent kid, okay? Not be on some reality show. I gotta go. Is he mad? Well, he's not happy. <sighs> what did you get into? Which means that every song I make is the one I wrote for you. It's pretty. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. Don't look at me. Hi. Hi. So, we were thinking that maybe your dream isn't dead. Maybe it's just been neglected and is really, really hungry. So we thought we better feed it some dinner. This part was mom's idea. <sighs> okay, guys, that part of my life is over. Yeah, I had a shot. I took it. It didn't work out. I've moved on. Why am I not convinced? My heart's not in it. You gotta follow your heart, kid. No doubt about that. Thank you, Pop. Yes. Now, can we get on with our lives, please? I actually have some good news to share. <clears throat> you are now looking at the new manager of the Monterey Coffee Bar. That's great. That's the good news? Yeah, Dad, that's the good news. You really know how to take the wind out of a guy's sails. Does your new job include a record contract and a big cash prize? Gracie, honey, of course we're happy for you. Thank you. OK, well, let's see, Gracie. Uh, he is not here. This is his wife. Oh, this is Wes Colborn from the song. I was hoping to talk to him about the contest on Saturday. Of course. Well, I was a little surprised we hadn't heard back from him. Left a few messages on his cell phone. Yes, I'm so sorry. He's been really busy. Maybe if I could leave the information with you, we'd know that he's up to speed. Uh, sure. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, um, yes, that's great. Go ahead. We're going to need everyone at the theater by 5 o'clock on Saturday for the orientation. 
shooting starts at 8, so that will give us just enough time for a quick sound check, get him through hair and makeup, etc. We're happy to send a car if he should need a ride. Mrs. Cantor? Uh, yes, yes, no, 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 no. He does, he does not need a car. We have a car, and we will make sure he gets there. Good, very good. Well, we look forward to meeting everybody on Saturday. Okay, great. What are we going to do now? Okay, I have one last idea. Better be good. It's not. It's really bad, actually. You sure you want to do that, son? Oh, I'm sure, old man. Bring it on. Tommy! The art of the improvisers. Easy. Ornette Coleman. Freddie Hubbard on trumpet. Jimmy Garrison on bass. Chick Webb on drums. That is impressive. One of my favorite recordings from 1961. Oh, I was a little surprised to hear that Chick Webb played drums on that particular album. See, now he passed away in 1939. Yeah. I'm going to keep it this time and teach you a lesson. Yeah. You meant Billy Higgins. Yep, <laughs> Billy Higgins. See you next week. Well, well, well. Well, wonders never <laughs> cease. Hi, Mickey. Hello, hello. Can I just you in some vintage vinyl? No, thank you. I actually came here to talk to you. Tommy, you know all those breaks you're constantly asking me for? Mm, no. Take a break, Tommy. Don't mind if I do. Well. <laughs> It's been forever. Mm -hmm. You look fantastic. Thank well, you. Last time I saw you, in fact, I believe you were pregnant. I was. Actually. You have some photographic evidence of your work, do you? I have proof. Look at that. Wow. Oh, she's a lucky Thank girl. Thank you. Because <laughs> she looks nothing like her father. You keep that. Yeah? Yeah. Ben would want you to have it. Uh-huh. <sighs> so what can I do you for? Um, it's about Ben. Not interested. Come on, Mickey, hear me out. I just need you to talk to him. <laughs> After 10 years, he needs to talk to me, does he? I wouldn't have come down here if I didn't think it was important. He always had a lot of respect for you, Mickey. Well, a very peculiar way of showing it. Let me save you some time. If it's about money, look around. And for the record, this is not a bad day for us. Mickey, this isn't about money. OK. It's about music. I don't know if you heard, but Ben was chosen as a contestant on the song. I hadn't heard that. I'm getting a headache. Oh, yeah, well, he doesn't want to do it. Of course he doesn't, because it might actually lead to something. Oh, come on. That was a two-way street. You and Ben both screwed that up. OK. I just want you to talk to him. Convince him to do it. Manage him. I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> listen to me? Ben? Yeah, you guys were great together. Mickey, he needs this. He's not happy. And you can't tell me that you don't still care about him and that you don't still think about what you guys had. I had to let go of foolish dreams and hopes a long time ago. He left me no choice. So no, I don't live in the past. Sure was great to see you. And take care of this little girl, will you? You guys did that right. I hope I didn't bother you. No bother at all. Hmm. Not living in the past, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! I forgot that was up there. doing the show. 
Mickey. You're doing the show. How did you even know about the show? I live in the world, Ben. Alicia. Alicia, that name sounds familiar. Ugh. I will not deny nor confirm this allegation. The point is I have reluctantly agreed to become your manager again. <laughs> you're, still, you're still managing acts, Mickey? No, I was so traumatized after you quit, I couldn't help anyone else become a genius. Well, thanks for stopping by, Mickey, but I don't need a manager because I ain't doing the show. That's why you're wrong. You owe me. I do not owe you anything. This is a second chance for both of us. I'm not gonna let it pass us by again. Well, it's been nice chatting, Mickey. Maybe we should do it again in another 10 years. I have to go to work. Don't make me get physical. <laughs> Just say you'll do it and I'll leave you be. It's not gonna happen, Mickey. Okay. What do you got for me? Two to go. Two mocha fraps. Got it. Whipped cream? On one. For here? To go. No problem. One more question. Yep. Who is this guy and why has he been staring at us all day? That's just Mickey. He looks like he wants to settle a debt. No, he's just an old acquaintance. He's kind of freaking me out, man. Yeah, he's good like that. It was a long time ago, Mick. Morning. Ah. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Get used to it. Really? You could just say you were gonna do the thing, you know? And then we could get cracking on them songs. Mickey, if you want to drive around with me all day or hang out at the coffee bar, please be my guest. Yeah, I got a different plan. Oh, yeah, what? You, you going to kidnap me? No, that's too weird. I did get these at a local shop. No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Does it look like I'm kidding you? Look at this. Huh? I'm going to make a fool out of myself, and you and I are going to look like such idiots. Wake up. Oh, I'm awake. You're the one that's asleep at the wheel here. It's a whole new world. Yeah. You got the internet. I heart take radio. Them off. YouTube. Take them off. Twitter. Take them off. Facebook. Take them off. Right. They're not even real. If you just push the button and they come right I'm just trying to make a point. All right. I'll leave you be. Leave her out of this. Gracie has nothing to do with this. She's got everything to do with it. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. And you wouldn't have this extraordinary opportunity to show your daughter what it means to actually follow your dreams. How about that? As a reason. All right, fine, I'll do it. Really? Yes. <laughs> but I'm not doing it for you. I know that. than he does on TV. That's show business right there, sweetheart. What song are you gonna play tonight? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really decided. What? You guys, relax. You're making me nervous. Are you Ben Cantor? Yes, I am. I got him. Yep, on our way. You were supposed to meet in the lobby to check in? We don't do public entrance, miss. I'm sorry, you're here because... They, they're, he's with me. Everyone's with me. Mickey Hart, manager slash producer. This is a coupon for a free sandwich. 
All right, let's talk about uh, dressing rooms. What's the situation? There isn't one. Don't panic. That sparkling water, please. Towels, fluffy. I'm so robe, sorry. I'm guessing. We need to get you ready. Okay. I got Thank this, you. Though. Thank Don't you. worry about a thing. All right, all right, let's go. I got it all covered. I'm up yeah, we're on our way. Focus on the music. Eyes on the prize. Well, she has no idea who she's dealing with. <laughs> Literally no idea. I've missed you, Pop. <laughs> You're much shorter than I remember. Still know just what to say. <laughs> I have the gift. <laughs> you know, before we arrived, Benjamin Franklin called, and he was hoping to get his glasses back. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> so, you think Ben's really got a shot, eh? I do, yeah. Yes, I do. You seem to have some doubt, though. Well, let's put it this way. When Ben was nine years old, he had his first Little League game. Uh -huh. He struck out four times in a row, got hit by a line drive, then scooped up a grounder and promptly threw it at me, sitting in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and even after all of that, I still thought he was going to be the next Joe DiMaggio. Point is, I'm not sure I have the most objective opinion. Sure. <laughs> it's the blessing and the curse of being a father. Yeah. I, uh, have a cat. Huh. <laughs> Great talk, Mick. As always. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Alamo City, San Antonio, Texas, it's The Song. The Song. The only competition show that celebrates America's undiscovered songwriters. The unsung heroes of the music industry, these singer-songwriters get the chance to share their songs with America. From open mic nights to back alley clubs, songwriters of all genres vie for a chance to become one of three finalists on our grand finale winner take all tour. This year's winner will join winners from seasons one and two who have gone on to international fame and fortune. And now, please welcome your host and MC of the song, Trip Richards. Thank you, thank you very much, San Antonio. What a pleasure it is to be here in the Alamo City. We are all here tonight because we love songs and we love songwriters. And we're going to find the best in the country. This is the last stop on our contestant search. Tonight, we have 10 finalists vying for one last spot. And we're happy to have our other two finalists here with us tonight. So let's hear it for Rafael Amato of Athens, Georgia. And Angel Fender, all the way from San Jose, California. Tonight's winner will join Angel and Raphael on our 10-city tour culminating in New York City for the grand prize of $250,000, a recording contract, and a new car. All right, let's get this show started right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Dallas, Texas, Mark Spencer. I'll be some company tonight Chase away this emptiness I fight I'm on the road and far away from home From everything I know Bring me home, love Steer my soul To the simple and unknown To surrender, being alone Lend me hope me real. Red Richards. Ladies and gentlemen, Julie Nolan. We surprised my life's full circle, baby. Dangerous up and down. Good. Nice. 
Now please welcome our final contestant of the night, local boy, Ben Cantor. Some grow up Never certain of love So they toil For the attention they've lost They do anything to bring A little comfort to their soul But every single effort Cries what they need most They're saying hold me close Share the love that I've been missing Hold me close Help me trust in love again Hold me close until I know That love is here to stay can you hear me say, hold me close? Some let pride conceal inside the hollow of their heart. As they wait, so their heart will be. Some reveal their heart on here. Your outstretched arms say, Come to me. And hold me close. Share the love that I've been missing. Hold me close and help me trust in love again. Hold me close. Until I know that love is here to stay Can you hear me say, hold me close Hold me close Wow, gonna be close Great, isn't he? The hell do you know? Come here, man. All the way from here in San Antonio. Give it up. We got those. Excellent. The Welcome back to the song. Let's get right to it. And our two top contestants of the evening are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it, the moment we have all been waiting for. The third finalist to join Angel Fender and Rafael Amato on our grand finale tour. The winner in San Antonio is...
I thought you had, man. Well, you can't say we didn't try. Oh. Second place, not so bad. That's good. Let's go. All right. Well, I thought you were amazing. Yeah, the whole crowd, man. Everyone was with you. You can't tell me that didn't light a fire in you. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Of course it felt good, but no. I know how it ends. Well, forget them then. Give me the word, I'll make some calls and have a tour booked by tomorrow. And by tour, do you mean a handful of smelly bars singing to a few drunks? Shall we get a following? I could be a loney. You could, or a roadie. We'll probably have some. I could take tickets. There you go. I could sell popcorn. Now we have a team. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, you guys, I do, but it's bedtime. And I have to wake up to reality tomorrow. Mickey, it's good to see you. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, hang out sometime, yeah? I'd like that. OK. Bedtime. My dad. Wes Colborn from the song. We have a slight controversy brewing behind the scenes. Okay. Julie Nolan, our winner from last night, plagiarized her lyrics. So, you know, we can't have that. Short of it is, you're our winner. We're gonna make an announcement to the media this afternoon. I just thought you might like to know ahead of time. Ooh, wow, okay. We'll have production get a hold of you, walk through all the particulars. But you might want to start packing. Tour bus leaves tomorrow. It, tomorrow? Congratulations. Hello? Hey, dude. What's that about? That was the guy from the show. Wes? Yeah. I won. What? Yeah, I won. He said the, the girl who, who won last night, she was disqualified. Why? She, I guess she cheated. What? Yeah, that's what it, he, he said that I'm the finalist. I'm in. Honey. Wait, you won? Yes, I guess. That's what he said. I knew it. <laughs> Honey, I knew it. You... Somehow, I knew that you had won. Honey, this is amazing. <laughs> ben, hello? No, it is. It's amazing. I can't, but come on. I can't, I mean, there's no way. There's no way, what? He wants, he wants me to, to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, oh my gosh. I, I can't leave. I mean, come on, I have a, a family, I have a job. Oh. I can't. <laughs> barista, songwriter, barista, songwriters, forget about the job. This is what you always wanted, yeah, right? This I didn't think, I, baby, I didn't think I would win this in a million years. I did this to get you and Gracie off my back. Okay, you did it, and you won. <laughs> No, actually, I didn't win. I lost, and she won. No, honey, she cheated, okay? You won. This is not some American Idol singing competition, honey. This is about songwriting, and you won. Fair and square. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, where is your toothbrush? Oh, and you should take my comb. Hey, come on! What are you doing? Honey, you're running out of excuses. I'm not making excuses. Yes, you are. Sweetheart, if you want to be a good husband, then do what you love. And if you want to be a good father, then follow your dreams. Why is everybody such an expert on my dreams? Ben, come on, look at me. If you can honestly tell me that your path in life is at the coffee shop and not out there sharing your music with the world, then I'm telling you honestly from my lips to God's ears, I swear to you, I will never say another word about it. Good morning, by the way. Pack your bags. 
We're going on tour. 8 a.m. tomorrow, there's the address. Don't be late. For this, darling. I'm not supposed to leave my car there the whole time we're gone, though. I don't think anyone's gonna want to steal it, Mick. You don't? <laughs> I got news for you, little miss. That right there is a classic 1965 Ford Mustang. Pony interior, rally pack attack, and a 428 Cobra Jet V8. Yeah! Personally, I think that we have another Taylor Swift on our hands. Gambling on the bus. So, how already. does she balance we being for M &M's. school, being on the road? Hey there. Mickey. Sorry, uh, you're in my life? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Ugh. You want to hear a secret? OK. When I'm on stage and Daddy's singing his songs, I'm singing them just for you. Really? But how will I know? Because of our super secret code. I love you, little ham sandwich. Love you, too. All right. Song. I'm kind of stuck here. Need some fresh eyes on it? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Do you want some fruit or something? No, I'm good. Maybe some croissant? I'm good. I'm good. Pancito. <laughs> no. Pancito. Calentito in the morning. I don't morning. know what that means. Here, tell me what you got. It's in 3 4. Okay. Uh, I'm feeling this. Yeah. This is good. Better, right? Uh, verse, verse, pre, <coughs> going into the bridge. Um, that's good. That's really good. I kind of wish I wrote it. All right, <laughs> let's do the, the hook one more time. OK. Since the day I can't live on my own, I can't live life alone. I must have you right here. That's it. That's it. You just tag that's it. That's it, tag man. It. Yeah, see? Mickey likes it. Yeah, man. Do you guys write together? Oh, God, no. He writes the magic. I'm the manager, roadie, babysitter. So who's your favorite writers? Uh, CSM, Neil Young, Carol King, Carol King, Carly Simon, Billy Joel, Joni Mitchell, JT, Justin Timberlake, James Taylor, Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown. Who's Jackson Brown? Uh-oh. Just an out-of-date songwriter, honey. Nobody important. Mama knows best. Just writers that define the genre, no biggie. So you guys just never made it, huh? Well, that's not. No, no. never did. No, no. Well, it's, it's not too late. But sometimes it's hard to admit when it is. you guys. Oh, we miss you too. How's Pops doing? Pops good. Just puttering around. Well, tell him I said hey, okay? I will. Five minutes, Ben? Okay. Yeah, it looks like I gotta go. Okay. Good luck, okay? I love you. All right. Thanks, baby. Bye. Can't talk you down. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. Sorry. Can't talk you down from that mountain. Talk you Too much out. monitor, guys. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay.
Okay. Can we take that from the top? Okay. Can we take. Okay. Change of plans. We're gonna head to hair and makeup. Well, All right. Look, come on. I'm gonna get a, get a chance on, to do it again though. Maybe. I've done we'll like see. half TBD. of it. Come on, oh. let's go. Okay. McKee, tell me the truth. How bad was that? Hey, listen. Once they work out the sound and the lights and about eight other things, we're golden. Hey, Ben. You got a minute? Y yeah. They're calling yeah, me to hair and makeup. Great. I just think it might up the tempo. I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, that song is just meant for a guitar and one voice. And I get that totally. But I think adding a, you know, a second guitar might just, you know, really spice things up. Spice things up. Yes. These voters, they get bored so easily. Imagine that. No offense, Trip, but you're starting to make it feel like you're pulling on Ed Sullivan here. Wait, what? Bob Dylan, 63. Are you trying to change my man's song? <laughs> no. Look, just call it reliable advice, okay, guys? Yeah, we're gonna call it that. Mickey, I don't, doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel like me. I just. Speaking of which, okay. I have yeah. a gander yeah. in this mirror, will you? Yeah, let me just see. But you, oh, oh, wow. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> um, Megan, right? Uh huh. Um, yeah, is it possible to maybe dial this back like 10,000? You know? Uh, well, it's your face. What do you want it to look like? Uh, just kind of like it did when I came in. Fantastic. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh. Hi, Ben. I'm Jinky. Hi, Jinky. Would you put this on for me, please? What is that? Uh, Don't put that on. Personal space? Uh, uh, this no, is... no, no, we're good. What's happening with that? This is your shirt for tonight? Um, I was just thinking about wearing this, what I have on. Really? You don't want to wear uh, this? With, with the stripes, Thank you, though, Jakey. This Thank is going to look much better on stage. I, it will, it will. So we should go. Okay. We should go. Do you, right. Can you grab those wipes? Thank yeah, you, Jakey. Yeah. Let me just grab uh, Get the you. whole thing. That's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. Bring Thank down, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bring down Bye. the hair okay. in front and, and oh, everywhere, really. Okay. Now, please help me welcome San Antonio finalist, Ben Cantor. You know, you should, uh, should really talk to him, Nikki. Mm. He could win this thing. He just needs to take it up a notch. Yeah, I've been down that road before. What you see is what you get. Fine, it's his funeral. Oh, look. You may have decided to spice things up after all. Wow. A harmonica. wants to wear jeans and a boring shirt, at the end of the day, he can wear jeans and a boring shirt. And the ratings? We're fine. Ben is not our monkey. Yet. Can I talk you down from that mountain? Oh, can I talk you in out of the rain? Can I talk you out? You can win, Daddy. You can do it. audience a chance. You're the kind of artist that grows on people. Mickey, that's code for singer who doesn't sell. I'm not saying that I expected to win tonight, but last, and by a huge margin, I might add. OK, you know what? You may have lost tonight, but you can still win the contest. Remember, this thing is about total votes. Remember that, from all shows combined. Oh, you know, I really hate these things. They make me look so cheap. Well, they made you look like a winner from where I was sitting, sweetie. Great job tonight, Angel. It was really beautiful. Thanks, Ben. You know, you too. I I'm sorry that you lost. I really loved your song. Oh, well, it's too bad that it's not up to Angel. <laughs> but you know what? You hang in there. I'm sure you'll find your audience someday. Gee, thanks, Pam. I'll just give it the old college try. 
First of all, it's Jan, and I'm just trying to make you feel better. Mom, Sorry. Mom, please. Good job, buddy. Yeah, I uh, felt like a puppet out there. I mean, why did I let them dress me up like that? I haven't even released a record, and I'm already a sellout. You know, I want to know, when did sellout become such a bad word? I mean, if I'm an artist, I want to sell out the arena, right? I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, it is actually possible to make money doing what you love while still maintaining your integrity. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, if anybody ever figures out how to do that, then let me know and I'll give it the old college try. Excuse me. Cheers. You know, I was thinking, mm. uh, first of all, there's to you, doing a terrific job. I was thinking, though, maybe she's got a point. Who? Cool. Jan. Really? I mean, what if you did tweak a couple of songs, compromise the wardrobe to be more TV friendly? Is that the worst thing that could happen? Okay, how many tweaks and compromises until you become a sellout? And how many sellouts until you lose your soul? Right. Uh, I, I get it. I know where you're coming from. It's just that this conversation is starting to sound very familiar. Why don't we pretend we never had this conversation? We were kind of wondering. What's up with Ben? Yeah, we, we couldn't help overhear your conversation. <clears throat> He's got a slightly different perspective on the music business, is all. What does that mean? There was a moment in time when he could have been a household name. Back when you two were finding your way around the playground, we got ourselves a heck of a record deal. Yeah, with a huge advance. Okay, well. How much was a huge advance, you know, back in the Middle Ages? <laughs> well, it was enough for me to pay off a rather large debt, uh, a trip to the Bahamas, and a dream purchase of a refurbished classic 1965 Ford Mustang. Oh, you mean that old car you bought? That, that was new once? Hey! You don't talk smack about the Tang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, how come, how come I never heard his songs? He walked away. Are you serious? He showed up that first day ready to record his songs, beautiful songs. And they had chosen other songs, someone else's, a different sound. They hired dancers for a music video. He lasted a week to his credit, and then he told them where they could put their contract and walked out. Well, at least you guys made some money. Au contraire, mi amigo. We had to give every cent back and then some. Music videos in the studio at time, that deal cost us money. And I thought it was the worst decision of his life. It was all there. So when you hear Ben use words like integrity, he's not trying to impress anyone. It's what makes him who he is. Well, I'll tell you what. After I win this thing, I'll buy you both refurbished classic new cars. <laughs> and lesson lost. <laughs> You're welcome to the rest of this pizza. Something.
whispers promising love but then you adjourn I can't break these bars is this who It's the wrong one. Mom, it's just a sound check. We've talked about this. Rehearsal, performance, whatever. It's not hip, it's not pop, it's the wrong song. I apologize, Mrs. Fender. We're finished. We were just admiring her song. Come on, we've got wardrobe. Right. Unbelievable. Mom. Let's go. I'm sorry. Angel's coming your way with Mom. No, no, no. De verdad, yo entiendo. Tranquila. I miss you too. Yeah, I love you. Hey, you okay? It's, um, it's my mom. I've never been so far from, you know what, man? Never mind, forget it. I... No, 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 it's, trust me, I get it. Being on the road, it's hard, away from your family. She, she works two jobs to help me stay with it, you know? And before this show, all of my contests were local and she was always there. When I see her out there in the audience and I think about all that she's done for me, it's like nothing can stop me. Yeah. It's tough being away from home. This is what gets me through. Wow. They're beautiful. They keep me alive. It's great, man. I still wish she was here. Raphael, we need you on stage. All right, man. All right. Break a leg. The sun. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Chicago, Illinois, it's The Song. The only competition show that celebrates America's undiscovered songwriters. It's night two of our grand finale. Angel, Raphael, and Ben are racking up votes, hoping to be our next winner. But only one finalist will be crowned winner of The Song. And now, Trip Richards. All right, good evening, Windy City, and welcome to night two of our grand finale. Raphael to the stage. is really heating up, so please keep those votes coming. All right, go get them, buddy. Thanks, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Rafael Amato. Let's get to it. You called out my name. My temperature rose up, played your game. You won my soul, but I almost burned my skin. So I call you. Waker of the wildfire within Since that day I can't live on my own I can't live life alone I must have you right here Left alone with this power Each hour of 
hands like feet So you, you called out my name Like a fool, I touched your flame You burned me, but I love everywhere I've been Let's bring out our next contestant, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, from San Jose, California, the beautiful and talented Angel Fender. Come back to me, I am empty and hopeless without you right here. I thought that my From San Antonio, Texas, that's a good Ben Pan. Hey, that's you. All right, wish me luck. All right, you don't need it. From me, 
winner of tonight's leg of the competition with an overwhelming 72% of the votes is... Dear Lord, please let my baby win tonight. Rafael Amato. How's that integrity thing working for you? I wouldn't, I wouldn't read those. People can be cruel sometimes. Sometimes honesty is mistaken for cruelty. You know, you may very well be right about that. That didn't sound right. Are we stopping? Where are we? We have a little problem, folks. It's nothing we can't handle. But we're gonna have to tow the bus in. All right. Yeah, it's all crapped up. It's gonna be two hours plus. Go back to the bus, Mickey. I need some time for myself. Yeah, but I sort of learned that that just means you're upset, so why don't you tell me what's going on? Because I got a train to catch. OK, I'll tell you what's wrong. I sang the blues tonight because you wanted me to, and I lost. First of all, you sang the right song, and you killed. So I stand by that suggestion. Second of all. No, you don't have a second of all. I lost. There's more to it than that. Who helped Raphael with those lyrics? Huh? Off the top of his head with his hands tied behind his back. I'll give you that it was a good song, but you made it a great song. How many people can do that? That is exactly my point. Where is the payoff? I help him with his song, and he wins, and I lose. Unless you're young and flashy and wear a short skirt, what do you have to show for it? Let's not rush you into a short skirt. This isn't funny. This is a game to them. Mickey, it's a game. And unless you buy in, you are not going to win. So all the integrity talk, we'll just throw that out the window, because you really had me going with that. I want to try something different. All right. Enlighten me. Success. Success. I want to win. Yeah, that's good. But success your way. Because otherwise, it's just Jan. Yeah, Jan's winning, and it isn't luck. Do not bring luck into this. You realize how lucky you are, right? Now put the music aside for just a second. You know what I would give to have your life, your family? What's happening? <sighs> I forgot to call Gracie. You see what I'm saying? There you go. I found you standing there. Empty handed there waiting for love to come your way. I'm sorry, I just I I got so caught up in that. It's okay. It's getting really tough out here. I'm gonna have to dive in deeper if I'm gonna win this thing. Hey, whatever you gotta do, I know you can win. I love you. All the fears you felt are the lies sin tells you were made to be the arms of love. Reach out. All right, I'm all yours. Do whatever. Really? Jinky, too? Go to town. Jinky. Now that's um, 
I'm talking about. It's perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Cantor. Certify my audience, huh? Oh, you can just put them over there. Hey, Pops, how you feeling? Oh, what's going on? Do you know what groupies are? Oh, boy. Well, honey, a groupie is. you know. No? A groupie is someone who likes to take group photos. When you get to be as famous as your dad, there tends to be lots of them. Really? Cross my heart. Because Cooper at school says groupies are girls who like to, um, they like to kiss musicians. <laughs> That's preposterous. Maybe that's why he hasn't had time to call me lately, because of other groupies. Well, it's hard to say. Probably just busy. I should probably ask my mom. Uh, your mom might not need to see this. Your mom might not need to see what? Phone call for you. Who is it? Take a message. Ben! Hello? Ben. Ben, it's your dad. I went outside to take the trash cans to the curb. And he came out to help me, but... The next thing you know, I just turned around and he was on the ground. But he hasn't 
been himself the past couple of days. I really should have known that something was wrong. Well, how are you? How are you holding up? I'm fine. How's Gracie? She's fine. Luckily, she was at school. She's at my sister's now. She's OK. I talked to the doctor. He said it's a blood clot, most likely. And they said he's, they're just going to keep him in there, you know, a few more nights. Honey, where have you been? I don't even know where I've been. I've been here. I've been focused. Just relax. This is almost over. OK. Um, so I put a ticket on hold for you, and there's a flight that leaves later tonight where you can just come in the morning if you want. Honey, I can't just leave. I can't. I, I mean, we, we leave for New York tonight. I don't even know what song I'm singing yet. Ben, this is your father. I know that. And he would want me to stay, and he would want me to stay and win this thing. I mean, don't you want that? This is not about what I want. This has nothing to do with what I want. Please. Everything that we've given up, do you want me to stop right now? Ben, what is going on with you? What is? I can't talk about this right now. Tell my dad that I love him and that I will see him in a couple of days when this is all over. And I'm sure he'll understand, and I, I wish that you could too. I have to go, bye. Is it? This is the big time. Believe it or not, I am gonna miss this bus. Yeah, me too. Not me. The ride was bumpy and the smell was awful. Good morning, Manhattan. If you're the only person who hasn't heard about the song grand finale, it's tonight right here in the Big Apple. Stop, stop! You guys, you're killing me. You're late. Remember the four we talked about? OK. Now, what? Phone. Who is it? I... Mr. Colborn. Hello? Ben. Listen, this is great. Our ratings are better than ever. So anything you want, anything you need, you've got. I'll be down there a little while to check things out. Great. Thank you. Actually, I could use a little help down here. Thank you. OK, so uh, the four measures that we talked about, uh, drum, bass, needed you guys to drop out. Everybody else, just carry on. Yeah? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Right. I thought we were out in two, in quiet for two, and then okay, wait, wait. blow stop, it out. Stop, OK, there's no thinking involved here. I'm telling you what to do. Whatever you say, maestro. Let's go. Just take five. Mickey! Yeah? Hey, do you know where the sound guy is? No, I, I don't know who the sound guy is. Great. Is, uh, is anybody at work today? Is there something I can do, Ben? No. Yes, actually, I need a chopper. A chopper? Yes, a chopper. You need a helicopter? No, a motorcycle. If you need a ride somewhere, I'm sure I can. No, 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 no. For, for the show. Mickey, remember the show? So I'm thinking, I ride the chopper in, jump off, grab my guitar, kill it, get on, drive You're off. You're going to enter on a motorcycle? Yes, I'm going to enter on a motorcycle. Where do you want this ball? Where are my other two? There's only one. No, I said I need three. I just talked to Penny. She said she was going to get me three. Left, center, right. OK. Yes, make it happen. Okay. Thank you. Ben, you got a second? Uh, don't have a second. Well, listen, I'm a man of my word, OK? We agreed to ride this thing through together. It's just that you've made this severe left turn here that I, I just don't want to be a part of it anymore. But I will fulfill my obligation and stick with you on this show. Win or lose, though, you're on your own after tonight, OK? Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Great. Great. So I can get back to work then. Yeah. 
And I'll get the motorcycles, because it's important to the music. Are you seriously coming for me right now? You know that Angel's numbers are totally on my tail. And just when I'm about to cash in, you, you want to get all high and mighty all of a sudden? Give me a break. Where were your ideals 10 years ago? I didn't have any. Believe it or not, I got them from you. You taught me what was right, and this ain't it. This is what's called entertaining the crowd, and this is what's going to win me $250,000 and a car and a record deal. You soared past entertaining the crowd about a 1,000 miles ago. You're nothing more than a selfish circus act at this point, and I want nothing to do with it. <sighs> I'm selfish. I'm selfish. Do you have any idea why I'm here? Why I am doing this? No, I don't. I am doing this so my wife can live in a house that's not falling apart. So I can send my daughter to school one day. Not to mention taking care of my dad. So if that is selfish, yes, I'm being selfish. Wake up, Ben. If you think your family wants you to win this for their benefit, you're more far gone than I thought. If you think your family wants you to win, in, in Guy Liner and on a Harley, then I don't even know who the hell you are. Is this the part where you, where you talk about you didn't do it for the money? I was here because I believed in you. What? Can we get back to work, please? Uh, this will go great with her shoes. I don't know if you are not hearing me or just ignoring me, but I want this dress. Uh, but we haven't fitted her for it. It's too long. Now this is the be-all, end-all. It's fine. This dress and the black heels. Man. Raphael, there's someone here to see you. Mom? How did you get here? It's not important. If I had to crawl, I was gonna come and see you. You look so handsome. <laughs> we need you on set now. You seem pretty, you hear me? Yeah, for you. Yo te amo, mi amor. Um, not right now. Sorry to bother you, sir. Oh, wow, I have been doing this show for three seasons. I have never seen anyone with this many admirers. I really like your songs. Thank you. God, I really like the stuff you did early on in the competition. You know, those songs about how you live your life. Yeah. I guess I've always liked stuff that's less pop. Thank you. you know? I, that's so sweet of you. Can, you. can I just, I just need a second to like clear my yeah, head. Yeah, totally. You know? No, big night. <laughs> Good luck. I am so sorry. Oh, I sweet. forgot that you the your interviewers are you know, here. No. They need you in the media room. Wait, can you postpone it? Looks like Entertainment Tonight is here and uh, the local news station KUTV. It's all on your call sheet. I know, but can you just push it back a little bit? Because I don't want to talk to anybody right now. Um, sorry, I don't want to talk to anybody right now. I don't want anybody to take my picture. I don't want to sign any autographs. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of flowers. I'm sick of teddy bears. All these roses. All this crap. It means nothing. Jump! I don't want it, it's trash! Get out!
Welcome, Trip Richards, New York. Well, it all comes down to this. Ladies and gentlemen, the final night, and everyone has a shot at the grand prize of $250,000. Yeah. A recording contract and a new car. So please, cast your votes after the final performance. They will be tallied in real time. And tonight, we will crown one of these three winner of the song. Well, let's get this show started. Our first performer is Rafael Amato. On the hill, plenty of thrills. Cash in my hand, did a fabulous spin. I'm at the top of my game. There ain't nothing I can't do. But I ain't got nothing if I ain't got you. The future is bright, my heart's out of sight. A big head of steam, I'm living the dream. I got plenty of style, no one would say it's not true. But I ain't got nothing if I ain't got you If I ain't got you, I ain't got no heart and soul If I ain't got you, I ain't got nowhere to go Got my mind made up, fill my cup A big diamond ring to place on your finger I'm working it hard, baby, won't you give me what I'm due Cause I ain't got nothing I ain't got you Got my mind made up You fill my cup A big diamond ring to place on your finger I'm working this hard Baby, won't you give me what I'm due? Cause I ain't got nothing If I ain't Nothing if I ain't got you. Uh -huh. Did you see that? You were amazing, Nico. Dios mío, pero. I can't believe it. Pero no me dices hacer eso, qué barbaridad. 
Up next for her final song is Angel Fender. I see you walking around, head down. Who robbed you of the birds of you? You look like you're about to lose them. Standing on unstable ground, been put down. Someone's been telling you lies, trying to disguise that on the day you were born, you were set apart. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for your wonderful support of Angel Fender. You threw her under the bus. Angel is still in the running. Not too late to cast your vote. And now for the final song of the night, and I cannot wait to see what he is going to do. It is my pleasure to introduce the one and only Ben Cantor. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, I'm probably going to mess this up. I was going to come out here guns blazing and explosions and disco balls and <laughs> yeah, not, not one, but three, actually. I know. Thank you. I love you, too. How about this band? This is amazing. And all I did today in rehearsal was yell at them. I'm sorry, you guys. Sorry. I'm going to sing a song uh, I wrote a long time ago. Alicia, Gracie, this is the one I wrote for you. strength to keep the faith and believe what I can't see. Lover of my soul, you hold my heart and all I do. So every time I write a song, it's the one I wrote for you. Remember when we used to live on 
That's my boy. That's my angel. He bought my plane ticket. We'd make it to the stars. Though that dream is dead and gone, I'll give what's overdue. So every time I write a song, it's the one I wrote for you. As long as you look in my eyes and love me with I love this guy. Yeah. As long as me you too. hold my hand as we walk miles and miles. I can find the strength to fashion words into a tune. Which means that every song I write is the one I To Daddy just lives. Maybe I can write a song to teach us how to fly until that grace arrives. So wise, I'll do just what I do. So every time I write a song, it's the one I wrote for you. So every time I write a song, it's the one I wrote for you. You had it. Palm was hands. Yeah. <laughs> nice surprise. Stay for the results? Nah, I think we're done here. I got it. Take this out to Ben, would you? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Maybe someday grace will bring a chance to change our life. Maybe I could write a song to teach us how to fly. Until that grace arrives so wise, I'll do just what I do. So every time I write a song, it's the one I wrote for you. So every time I write a song, it's the one I wrote for you.
when I found him again and saved him from himself. He was a barista at this place, making coffee. Hey, That's fascinating. Hey, hey, Less hey. than, I don't know. Hey. Six, well, you hey. made it. How are you? Hey, I'm good. I thought you had a meeting. I did, which is one of the reasons I'm here now. Please say hello to music producer Larry Fraser, all the way from Los Angeles. Pleasure to meet you. What brings you down to San Antonio? Uh, you, actually. Uh, sit down, please. Sit. Larry's here in town producing Shelby Winters' new record. And, uh, well, uh, Larry, you better tell him, because I'm, I'm going to lose it. Hey, there well, you are. I oh, called. Hey. Pop's fine. Oh, great. Oh, uh, yeah. Larry, this is my wife, Alicia, oh. and my daughter, hello. Gracie. This is Larry. He is in from L.A. Oh. Yes, well, I was just telling your husband that Shelby Winters is recording her new album in town, and, well, she's a big fan of your husband. Shelby Winters knows who my dad is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves wow. your songs. So much, in fact, she wants to record two of them on her new album. What's an album? I'll tell you later. And if you're free, she'd like you to duet on the one I wrote for you. Is this a joke? That's what I said. It is what I said. Now I recovered, of course, as your manager and worked out a tremendous deal, allowing for my normal 20%. 15. 15%. And as a show of good faith, I was authorized to give you this advance on behalf of Miss Winters. Now, to be clear, this check is a non-recourse. Yep, no payback, no matter what. Right. And the songs, the ownership? Bet. And the publishing rights? Bet. This is where I live, said. Holy... <laughs> Put it on their tab, honey. <laughs> All right, 20%. Oh, no. 17.5 is fair, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It's gonna be a good Christmas now. Did you put the jack in there? Yes, we're getting a dog. <laughs> Some grow up Never certain of love So they toil For the attention they've lost They do anything to bring A little comfort to their soul But every single effort Cries what they need most They're saying hold me close Share the love that I've been missing Hold me close Help me trust in love again Hold me close until I know That love is here to stay
time of suffering You still think There's no such thing as love's covering well, You're like a baby inside of the womb Hip, yeah You can't conceive How much your mother cares for you Don't be a fool Can I talk 